You're watching New Car Spin, and I'm your host, Brian Grant. And today we are at Volvo of Austin. And look what I found. That is the Volvo S60 R design with Polestar. This is the key. This tiny little thing is their sport transponder, basically. It doesn't have any buttons on it. And it allows you to keylessly walk up to the car, unlock it, lock it, turn it on, whatever. You don't have to hit any button. So you can keep this in your pocket the whole time, which I'm gonna do right now. And we are gonna go check this car out. First off, you'll notice uh, it's a brand new look. This is actually made in South Carolina, so it's American. I want you to know that I think it looks better than a few of the other modern sedans that are out there today. And most notably uh, will be the one I'm gonna shoot next, which is the Audi A6. So after I shoot this, the next video will be the A6, and you tell me what you think between these two cars. Price-wise, well, Let's get right into the price, because I'm sure you're very interested. Volvo has a thing called um, Volvo Care, and it's a subscription service. You can buy one, you don't have to lease it. I mean, you can own it. It's not just a subscription vehicle. But this is, by the way, the R-Design, Polestar, and all-wheel drive. So I'll get into that in a second. Let me just show you the price. So it's a two liter turbo and that has uh, 316 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. Now I know I've said in other videos, horsepower doesn't matter. And according to Volvo, it does, which is why they publish horsepower on their window sticker, unlike Audi. But I feel what's gonna happen here is a lot of Audi people are gonna hate me for doing this video, but a lot of Audi people are also gonna like this video because Audi has gone in a direction lately and they've changed. Volvo has gone in a direction lately and they have changed. And it's almost like this bipolar universe. It's very weird. But I'm seeing the light here with this Volvo S60. So here we have the uh, R design, which includes Napa leather, a lot of options as you can see on that list. It has the advanced package, which is a headlight cleaning system, something you can't get on the Audis anymore in the US and LED headlights. We have optional metallic paint. The list goes on and on and on and on. And the price is 58,105. Now, some of you may be choking on that, but the reality is that's cheaper than your well-optioned A6 with the same configurations, right? The LED headlights, the heated rear seats, you'd have to get really, you have to get a premium plus A6 and all that. We actually have a 48 month, 50,000 mile warranty and 144 month corrosion unlimited mileage. Uh, that's obviously for like rust. And it's an interesting car because the fuel economy is 32 on the highway. However, this thing is pole starred, which means that it has like this AMG tune to it, this BMW M performance tune. And you can do that to any Volvo here, an option on all Volvos just like this key here, you also get an optional red key where 
that is something you can give to your young drivers so that they don't break speed limits on the freeways and things like that. So it'll restrict the performance of the car. So if you do end up letting them borrow your XC60, actually that's probably not the brand new design. I don't know which one that is yet. But if you, if you let them get something like your XC60, you give them the red key and all of a sudden they don't, they don't basically open it up lead footed. Notice real exhaust pipes. Those tips go right into exhaust pipes. Now they're resonators, but unlike the new 2019 Audi A6, those pipes aren't fake. And you'll know what I'm talking about if you watch my A6 video when it comes out. Let's do this. I'm gonna get in here. Look at these curves, by the way. This curve. I can't believe this is an American-made car. I know it sounds like an insult, but I mean, man, you would never think that in South Carolina, where they make BMWs, that you can have a car like this. It's just so stunning. I mean, look at the seats. You want to compare this to an A6? Look at that seat. That is the most supportive, comfortable seat you're ever going to sit in in any car. And Volvo is number one, in my opinion, on their seating designs. Those Scandinavians, whatever they are, Swedes, you chime in, what are they? They do this, oh my, it's, perf it's perfection, unlike those Germans. So let me fire it up. Let me get in here. I'll show you how to fire it up, actually. It's pretty cool. So what you have is this knob here. There's no push button, you actually have to turn it. So all you do is put your foot on the brake and turn the knob. And everything fires up immediately. Stereo is going, let me turn that volume down so we don't get flagged here by YouTube. And you'll notice the screen here has all sorts of uh, options and obviously you control the air conditioning through here, but it's very simplified. You can change your temperature for whatever you want. I'll put it at 72 and it's on sync right now, but we have heated seat options. We have heated steering wheel in here. We have a uh, huge selection for obviously audio choices and then navigation as well. Navigation looks pretty sharp. And we also have a very nice uh, backup camera. And when you put it in reverse, it actually monitors the rear oncoming traffic and alerts you to that too. So like a lot of the new cars, this has everything as well. And by the way, this gear shift, this, this shift lever is not one of those electronic doodad things. This is an actual manual mechanical feeling. So it, it's not that stuff that a lot of people are very confused about. Also, you'll notice this nice, almost looks like stainless steel riveted. I don't know what that is, but it looks really cool. Something you won't get in your Audi A6. Concealed cup holders. So very nice. It's very nice in here. The Audi's nice in a different way, but this is nice as well. Here we have our, our um, SD card slot, I believe that is. I'll have to double check on that. And of course the glove box is lockable and we have plenty of room in there for your gloves. <laughs> You'll notice the speakers there. The, this is a Bowers of Wilkins speaker system and it's phenomenal. And you can see it also is uh, reflected up upon here. And the mirror is very sharp looking. Everything in here is just phenomenal. And you'll see too, uh, we have a fully digital instrument cluster, just like the A6. And then we have these really cool tactile feeling, but very smooth, ah, let me turn down the volume again. Very smooth to operate buttons, which includes the cruise control. The configuration is very standard to your typical car, even though this car looks very, very bonkers. Uh, like these air beds, for instance, which, you know, you move and then you rotate this knob to turn the airflow on or off or adjust the airflow, but you can move it left, right, up, down. These are also just as bonkers. They're huge. And uh, I think they're gonna be very effective in Texas summer heat. And then of course, if you look in the back, I don't think it would be as roomy as the A6, but how many people do you keep in your car? Okay, we're in the Volvo S60. This is the 2019, and I'm gonna take it around the block. So let's just go ahead and put it in a drive and go for it.
Now we are at Volvo of Austin, and this is their new dealership, so they have a new location. So if you're used to them being off of a, what is it, 183 or some other highway, they've now moved and relocated to I-35. And I wanna thank them for letting me drive this car. Now we're in a school zone right here, so I'm gonna take it easy. Once we get over to Interstate 35, which is going to be to our left, we will go ahead and uh, open it up on the freeway. But right now I'll show you all our options here. We have corner illuminating LED headlights. We have lane keeping assist. We have private locking. Don't know what that means. We have distance alert. Turn that on. Uh, roadside information. So we can do road signs. We can adjust the passenger seat from here, which is cool. I can hit that. Yeah, we have a lot of options. We can even set up cruise control. No cruise control application to other vehicles. Okay. So this is all still fairly new to me and it would be to you as well, especially if you're coming from an Audi. However, I encourage you to go check these things out because they have totally transformed as a company with all of their products. And this, is, this has only been at the dealership for two days. So let's see if we can get to a freeway from here. Now there are a couple trim levels. There's the inscription, there's the momentum, and then there's something else. <laughs> I really don't remember right now off the top of my head. So it's only because I haven't really done my research. I've just basically called up a friend and said, hey, you've got that new S60, I gotta check it out. And looking at this thing in person and knowing that it's made in South Carolina and that it feels so comfortable and it's got all this tech and the price is actually reasonable compared to a comparison like an Audi uh, it's a little bit more than an A4 but if you're looking at an A6 it's like what's the difference right so let's see we're gonna make a right and we also have auto stop start and part of this uh, Volvo system is like this mild hybrid technology where when the car starts up, it starts up with the uh, electric motor. If I press the button here, I can actually extend my seat cushion bottom out and I can also adjust my lumbar. I can do it through the screen. This is very intuitive and I know some people don't like the two screen layout in the Audi, which is why I would say hey, check this one out. Although I do know that someone I know who works with Consumer Reports doesn't like Volvo's screen because you cannot, there's no tactile way to adjust temperature or fan speed or anything like that. But for when I drive, I always keep everything in auto and I usually just adjust the temperature. It's no different than the new Audi. So it uh, seems to be like Volvo went down, went the dar. Volvo went there first. They they made that happen. They took the direction. They're leading, which is weird. I have this really cool sound experience setting where I can change it to the different types of sound halls. I can uh, go to studio, and then I can focus the attention on the driver or everybody. And then I can do individual stage and we can change all of the stage sound processing and then we can change it to concert hall. A couple options here to really custom tune the, the sound to what you like. And I think it's, uh, it's amazing. You have a lot of options here. Options are always good. So I always take the option actually. That's the, that's the key to success in life is to always take the option. Turn that music down actually. I got satellite playing and this traffic is terrible. We also have options here on the screen. You'll see we have Park and Pay, we have Yelp, we have Google Search, we have Weather and Pandora, Spotify. Everything's sort of built into this system and it's obviously using 
data so it has a data service and that's the other thing too about these Volvos is they have these features like you can get Amazon packages delivered to your trunk and stuff like that and it's a it's a funky way of considering like your car is more of like your assistant and that's why when I was at the LA Auto Show and actually I was on NPR talking about the Volvo display I was interviewed by somebody from DNA uh, somebody Anderton anyway that's beyond the point I'll put the link to NPR down below but the way Volvo did it was they had their display for media and they said this is not a car and the reality was that a lot of these manufacturers are talking about oh electronic and autonomous and all this fully done stuff but they don't have any of that but Volvo has done so many little concierge things within the car that you can have somewhat of a concierge slash assistant right now in most of their brand new vehicles and that's some of the 2018s and all of the 2019s so the XC40 the new XC60 the S60 which is this one and the S uh, XC90 and then you've got the V wagons and it's all just sort of integrated and it's really cool and you should check it out big bump okay so we're gonna jump on this freeway So, not knowing what the speed is at all, that's kind of freaky. It doesn't feel like 82. This feels very light, by the way. It feels like... I don't know how to describe it. It feels like a car that, that you might have experienced 10 years ago without all the, the heavy safety systems and everything, even though Volvos are obviously laden with all the tech and the safety features. This just feels like something that doesn't have all that overweight feeling. And it's quiet. It's definitely quiet. So we also have a drive mode, and we're gonna go back on the freeway and I'll show you that. There's a button down here that says drive mode, and we can change just by scrolling this wheel which mode the car is going to be in. We're going to change into dynamic. Oh yeah. This is fun. Okay, so now we're in dynamic mode, in the drive mode, and we're going to go for it. Cross railroad tracks. I'm not going to say it feels faster than an A6 because that obviously has a twin turbo V6, but if you don't want to spend all of that A6 money, but you still want something that has some better looks than the A4, I think this is the way to go, especially these seats and this stereo. And the fact that you have all these concierge features, it really starts to make sense from why would I change to another brand perspective? You still get things that you get in other vehicles like different drive modes, touch screens, radar tech, safety tech, and I think they've nailed it here. I even have heads up display which is really cool. Not really visible with polarized glasses, but it's still there. Wow, when that turbo kicks in, this thing just flies. It's a fun little ride. So it allows you to get past that A4 stigma. You know, like the problem I have with the Audi A4 is that while it's an okay car, I think that the new one just doesn't really entice me enough. Whereas this one does. It's hard to explain again. I don't want you to be thumbing me down or hating me, 
because I am now talking about Volvos instead of Audis, but stick with it. The, the whole package here, especially that you can have a car that you can have for two years on a subscription with insurance and everything else paid for, maintenance, you're getting into a different way to own a car. Woo! This moves. Braking, I think, is not as strong as the Audi. I'll be first to admit that, but... Um, it's just probably something that I have to get used to. Of course, this car does have 20 miles on it, so obviously they need to be broken in. All right, we're gonna pull into service. Now obviously Volvo does sell a lot of crossovers these days and that's the uh, the bread and butter for them right now. So this sedan is probably not going to be the top seller, but at the same time, I think that if you're a sedan fan, then you owe it to yourself to look at the S60 and maybe compare it to something like the A4, especially when you're caught between the A4 and the A6. And there, there are other manufacturers that this would compete with, but from a general perspective, from the looks and the delivery, and let me put the parking brake on. Set. Oh, we also have auto hold too for the stoplights. I don't know, it's, it's like, it's something new. It's to totally new. And this being new car spin, I wanna show you guys everything. We also have, let me do this. We also have a power sunshade and a panoramic roof. And the shade still lets some light in. It's not a complete block out of light, as you can see. But let's see if it'll fully open. Fully open, there you go. So it opens up and out, which is nice because it gives you the most headroom you can get possibly get. I don't know, is there anything I missed? You want me to pop the hood? This is a nice Napa leather and this is a cool textured fabric. It, these are just very supportive seats. So there you go, the 2019 Volvo S60, made in South Carolina, available now, and go check it out at your Volvo dealer. I happen to be at Volvo Austin, but any dealer will be able to explain to you all the trim levels and all the options and then the subscription versus the lease or the purchase options. So there's no excuse now to not have a really stylish, fun little car. Is it 100% sporty? Um, no, it's not like an Audi S4 and it's not a Mercedes AMG, but at the same time, for, for what you get here, it moves when you want to really push it hard. And that all comes down to this, this drive mode wheel. You push in, you select between the different types. You can go eco, you can go dynamic. It does auto shut off for the, it does auto shut off at the stops. And that's all a part of all the drive modes. It's great. So please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I do this for you. This is not something that I get paid to do by anybody. So if you have a car you want me to drive, like the XC40 maybe, or the S90, or maybe even another manufacturer, just let me know. I'll be glad to do it. And leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.